Good morning, guys. Today's the big day. The big day, the Grand Canyon day. What the heck? The battery's dying. I think the battery's in my purse. God, I forgot to change it. Well, this is just a glimpse. We're going to the Grand Canyon today, okay? Here's the intro to that beautiful footage of the Grand Canyon. Me and Tyler just made the five minute walk to Mather, Mather's Point. It's like a super easy little point that you can come up to see the Grand Canyon. So we decided to start with that today. Then we're gonna start hitting the tough ones, a few. Okay, let's keep going, that's the point. He's waiting for you to drop something. I don't know. Oh. Where's that kid's parents? I didn't record when we were down at the point, so these are a couple photos from the actual point, Mather Point. Beautiful. I am doing a voiceover for this because my GoPro mic just is so loud and shoddy. So right here, I'm basically just letting you guys know we're starting the Bright Angel Trail. It's about a 14 mile hike down. We did not do the whole thing. Um, there's also a lot of switchbacks on this hike and switchbacks are miserable but um we are just going to take our time and enjoy the hike down and up right here i was just trying to situate the gopro for the hike down i think i got this entire hike up and down on my gopro so that'll be fun to watch sped up obviously but Right here I was letting you guys know that there's like a ton of poop on this hike because mules go up uh, up Bright Angel Trail and down to the river like every day, which is kind of crazy because again it's 14 miles, but you're on a mule so a little bit easier. Um, I had a banana and protein bar and we got lots of water. We were like really prepared for this day because we already did three days of hiking so we knew how to be a little bit better prepared for the Grand Canyon. So. We're making our way down to the like information session and then the Kolb studio is actually right above that sign and we end up going there at the end of bright angel trail we did about five miles so two and a half down two and a half back up and it was it was a perfect amount of hiking for us We are about 0.3 miles into Angel Friday Angel Trail. Doing pretty good. I put some ice in my little camelback today and boy that's a game changer. Game changer. Tips for the trail since take breaks when you need them. We 
we both packed sandwiches today, PB&Js. We tried peanut butter, but um, we took our peanut butter sandwiches out. I think it was a Zion. And that sandwich was just such a flaw, like we barely ate it. <laughs> we ended up throwing it away because they were so bad. So we got some jelly to kind of take the hit of the peanut butter today. They say not to hike into the canyon between 10 and 4. Uh, but we'll probably end up getting to the bottom at around 10. Uh, so we gotta make the hike back up. Apparently it gets hotter the deeper into the canyon you go. Which, I mean, doesn't really make sense to me. If someone wants to explain that, feel free to. Because um, I don't understand it. Because we're going down. So, I don't know. Gosh. Here comes the mule poop again. Jeez, oh man, it's bad. It's so bad. Sheesh. Totally worth the view though. I was so excited that I was able to get the mules on camera. We were headed down and we saw them in a distance and I was like, oh my God, let me turn on my camera. And they tell you at the beginning of the trail to stay in like close to the mountain, not the outside because if, um, if the mules need to, they can get closer to the edge than we can and it's safer. I was cracking up the guy on the mule, like Tyler started to walk by the mule and the guy was like, um, don't move. You'll scare him. And so Tyler got in trouble. Not really, but I was picking on him at the end of this clip. I was like, oh, you got in trouble. Uh, it was just really cool to see the mules. Like I said, they go up and down this trail. They go down to get water. I don't really know the whole purpose of it, but they go up and down the trail, and they've been doing it for a really long time. So these people, they're like the um, the indigent indigenous people I don't know if I just butchered that word but they take the mules up and down the mountain and it was really cool to see in person so just wanted to share that with y'all it was awesome Right here, I was just letting you guys know that um, we have planned to go see a couple other points after this hike. We were going to go get some lunch afterwards and then go to some points that were recommended by our, like the bus driver. Um, but yeah, so far the hike was going great and we were almost halfway down at this point. So, doing great. <laughs>
we decided to stop on the way back or on the way down we found this really cool viewpoint so we stopped to take some pictures because it was stunning Tyler took this one and he took the next one obviously um, but it was just so cool to see the Grand Canyon from this point of view and I can't wait to put these pictures in a photo album <laughs> Keep an eye on my heart rate as we jump in elevation. If you look closely, you can see where the next house is, straight down. And you can see the little solar panels. So there's three pit stops on this trail. We stopped at one. We got another like 0.7 miles. This is tough. I'm trying to take it easy. This has been a pretty good hike. Um, we're right at 2.17, 2 hours, 17 minutes down, almost back to the top. I feel like I was much better prepared for this hike. I kind of went guns a-blazing on the first two hike days, but I feel better prepared today, so I'm feeling better about it. What? That's, just, that's what I was just about to do, that's funny. Be careful, please. Oh my God, you make me so nervous. Please be careful.
home studio. That's what that guy told us about. Cole Brothers. So this is the Kolb studio. A very kind gentleman the day before this told us to visit and I was like, oh, I don't think we're gonna make it, but I'm so glad we did. Look at this view. Two brothers built this house on basically the edge of a cliff to live here and take photos of the people that lived in and around the Grand Canyon. And the photos were sold. Um, they taught people how to take photos. They also built this um, auditorium, which you'll see here in the back of their, or the side of their house, I guess you could say, to show the footage that they also filmed because they filmed footage in the Grand Canyon and they were just like so beyond their time when it came to like photography and videography. Um, so it was just really cool to see this. Fun fact, my grandfather was a photographer in the military so this would have been really cool to show him. Um, it was just really cool to see. And this is Tyler looking at all of the stuff and all the, the view was amazing. And then we found some other stamps that we were going to stamp in our passport. So we got sidetracked. But I did end up walking down into the theater and it was incredible, all the artifacts they had. Do you guys still sell the blank passport uh, stamp pages? We didn't. We um, have a passport book. We just didn't bring us bring oh, it today. Just piece of paper. Yeah. Do you have a little piece of paper? A couple of sheets. Thank you. No, I think. Yeah, they used to sell, you know, like the sticker, but they'd be blank. Oh, okay. I've never seen the blank one. Huh? Yeah. I yeah. The first yeah, one. Our big store at the visitor center. We have like. They have those. Stamps over there. Oh wow. This is perfect. Thank you. Yeah. This should work. We really appreciate. It. Thank you so much. We just made it to the abyss. This is where you can see parts of the Colorado River. And it like is a little trim rim, rim trail, not a trim rail. I can't see it. Huh. I hear it. I don't see it. There, oh, I see it now. It's out there. What? Oh, there. Water. This is more of, like I said, a scenic view of the Grand Canyon and the river, kind of. Yeah, I hear them, but... Maybe that's just weird. I think that's what you hear. That's true. Look how flat it is up here. But this is the abyss to... Oh, I can't remember the other point. Powell Point. It's an unpaved trail, um, but it's a really, they're really pretty views. You can see the Colorado River down there, Colorado, whatever you want to call it. Our tour, our bus lady told us this the first bus we got on. She said this would be a good trail to take. incredible views. I was a little nervous when they said this wasn't um, paved or like lined, but my goodness, it's so beautiful. Unobstructed views. I don't know, she said something about the rapids. That might be what's like that rushing sound. Maybe around the next little loop. Incredible. 
So now you have seen the north and the south, but you haven't seen the west. Okay. <laughs> the west rim of the Grand Canyon is closer to Las Vegas. Um, but Tyler has been to the north and the south now. The north is also a little closer to Vegas and like Kanab, where we were yesterday, um, or the day before yesterday. But the south rim made the most sense for this trip because we're doing a big circle. So the next time that we come out here, we want to stay in northern Arizona, a little bit more like middle Utah, so we can see a little bit more of the national parks in Utah. Mojave, not Mojave, or Powell. Okay. We can stop at Mojave and eat our sandwiches. Thank you. I don't think it will be. I, here's the trick. I wrapped it in a paper towel, then the foil, then a bag. Hopefully it's not too smushed. I worry about it being smushed more than I do. I just wanted to see as much as I could of, the, of it. Like we did a hike and it was fun, but now I want to see it. There's a trail point view over there that I heard him talking about. No, you can see the, um, what did you just ask? Where you can actually see like the angel trail that we did.
like this this trail could take so long because of how many times you can just stop and stare. Between Abyss and Powell Point is Mojave Point. It's kind of like the midway mark because it's a mile from the Abyss to Mojave Point and then another mile from Mojave Point to Powell Point. Um, but you just get these beautiful views. So we might stop here and eat lunch at Mojave Point. spot to eat lunch. See you later. done with this. Whoa. We are at Hopi Point at the Grand Canyon. Incredible. You can see the Colorado River. Um, Sir, there's a rail here, mom and dad. You can just see so many of the canyons. It's crazy. It is really nice and breezy up here. We came from like around that corner and hiked two miles to this point. So, definitely worth the view if you ask me. What do you say? Get out of here. <laughs> That's a masonry going on. Yeah. Flagstaff local. A monument. How expedition. Grand Canyon National Park. Grand Canyon National Park 70th, 75th anniversary. Point. Oh. You don't want that. Hey guys. This feels like it's pretty zoomed in, but we are still in the Grand Canyon today. We're trying to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner. Uh, we did a couple hikes this morning, 
I'll like put up a map or something of the hikes that we did. And we ended up at this place called the Kolb Center. And it's like this historic home that these two brothers built in the Grand Canyon, like on the edge of the mountain. And they photographed the Grand Canyon and like, um, so the Kolb brothers would photograph the Grand Canyon and they also photographed like the Indians that lived on the Grand Canyon back, back in the day um, when they still were able to kind of do more in the Grand Canyon before it became Americanized, I guess you kind of say. It's still very um, spread out for different, res like there are different reservations on the Grand Canyon or like within it, I believe. But anyways, this house is on the edge of a mountain. I'll also put up a picture of that because it's incredible. And these people worked on this house up into their 90s and I have this crazy feeling I, I might have read it I don't know or someone might have said it that works here they said that there's still people in that family that come and like hang out in their house because it's their family house isn't that crazy to think about this house on the side of the mountain um so anyways we did a couple of those things but the whole point of that story because I'm blabbering is that when we were at the house, there was a stamp option to say that you've been to the Kolb Center. And me and Tyler were like, dang it, they have stamps. And there were like four other stamps, different places in the Grand Canyon. So we are on the way to those places. First one is the Burr Camps, Burr Camps Center, Welcome Center. It's not the regular um, Grand Canyon Welcome Center, but it's within the Grand Canyon so we're headed there and then we're gonna go to one more spot and then we're gonna do the desert view drive and then figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner just want to give you guys a little update on the day it's been a great day chugging my Gatorade that I have um, but yeah it's been a, it's been a fun day we saw mules uh, going up the mountain that was pretty cool their poop everywhere wasn't that cool but it was cool seeing them so yeah, I'll see you guys uh, whenever I turn this back on. Okay. This is the Desert View Watchtower. This was the last stop that we made. I didn't take this picture, but we went here and then we watched the sunset on the ride home. I thought I had a lot more footage of the end of the day and I either deleted it or can't find it. So I wanted to add these beautiful pictures of the sunset. We stopped at a couple points on Desert View Drive and I took these photos. I was just in awe of the beauty of the Grand Canyon. It was awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you said, what do you mean? No one's gonna arrest you and put you in jail. You said Indian. 